Ein Gern, gern, gern. Gern, gern. Gern, gern. If you've ever gotten your hair cut at Walmart, by a friend, or on base, and you immediately regretted your decision, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure the bell notification icon is clicked, and like and comment with whatever the hell you'd like, because we have a weird community, so we're just going to run with it. So we're gonna do a review on the Safariland 6354DO, which is an optic equipped holster, but realize that there are different versions of the 6354 out there for people who live in the year 2006 if you don't have an optic on your weapon. So the Safariland 6354DO is a holster that utilizes Safariland's ALS system. So what is the ALS system? The ALS system is an active retention holster. So what's the difference between passive and active retention? Glad you asked. We have a passive retention holster right here. This is the Ragnarok from T-Rex Arms, perhaps one of the best passive retention holsters out there. So it simply retains a firearm by means of Kydex. Now they are very good, they are very quick. However, if you ever go hands-on, do a keg stand with some Marines during a party or something along those lines, you're gonna want some type of holster that allows you to lock your weapon into place. And there are a variety of different mechanisms out there. But I believe without a doubt, that the ALS system is the most superior. So how the ALS system works is it has a small locking tab on the inside that locks on the ejection port of the weapon. So that when you want to release it, what you do is as you draw down to grab your weapon, you hit the small nub. If you notice while dropping your hand, it will simply land on the nub naturally. So drawing is very smooth. Once you release that nub, there is no tension on the weapon, so it will simply slide out effortlessly. Now to reholster, you simply reinsert the weapon and it locks into place. There's nothing to screw with, no type of hood to cl click back into place. And because of that, it's a very simple, easy and robust system. And if you know, when it comes to my duty setups, that type of thing, I like a lot of no nonsense crap. That way I don't have to worry about too much because there's gonna be a lot going on. So on this particular holster, there is a Kodura wrapping around it. Now, why is there a fabric wrapping? Well, for a variety of reasons. If you compare it to one of the other ALS holsters from Safariland, and this one is spray painted to camouflage it, uh, there's still a little bit of shine to it. If you notice from the 7000 series, there's also shine on this one as well. So the cloth fabric helps reduce some of that shine, give it a little bit more camouflage. Also, it reduces the IR signature. Now, how big of a deal is IR signature? I'm not sure, it depends on who you're dealing with. But realize that those thoughts out there are getting some more uh, advanced technology. So make sure you don't underestimate your enemy on that type of thing. Plus it looks cool as hell. Now on this particular setup, you notice that there's a little hood right here and that helps protect the optic. Now it used to be the case that on pistols that were set up like a Roland Special, in this case for this Glock equipped uh, holster, that you had to do some mods to this holster to make it work. Newer production designs are working fine and will lock in place no problem on the Roland Special type builds. So it's a quick note for you guys. Now I want to take a moment to talk a little bit about my particular setup. If you notice, I use the QLS forks on my uh, holsters a lot of time. And that's not because I'm so much switching out holsters and changing up weapons, but rather because it's really convenient to be able to take off that holster easily when you don't need it. So for example, if I'm running a vehicle or something like that, I can simply pop that holster off, put it on the dash, that type of thing. And that allows me to sit in a vehicle more easily because moving over to my pants setup, you notice that I have this on a mid ride paddle. And because of that, it rides a little lower and that's incredibly uncomfortable in a car. So because of that, it's kind of nice to take it off when you need to. If you notice, I have a thigh strap running through the holster setup right here. And that allows me to keep the weapon a little closer to myself. So when I'm running, doing that type of stuff, there's a lot of weight on this pistol. So I want that swinging around. So this helps stabilize it a little bit more. And that's about as drop Three. leg -ish as I'll ever get when it comes to a holster. Now, in many ways, guys, I consider the ALS to be more simple than a passive retention holster to draw because once you depress that nub, there is nothing preventing you from drawing the weapon. There is no type of retention or anything like that, any type of kydex tension or anything like that. So because of that, it's a very smooth draw, perhaps one of the quickest draws you have out there. Uh, regarding this holster, there has been some concerns from people that perhaps debris getting in there will get caught up and jam the mechanism. Hey guys, this isn't a Serpa system, it doesn't jam like that. Now, why did I mention the Serpa? Because I hate it and I wanna take every jab I possibly can at it. 
So let's compare the 6000 series to the 7000 series from Safari Land. A couple changes that they made is they made some raised portions in here to allow some standoff between the weapon and the holster itself. This allows debris to fall through more easily out the bottom. That way the mechanism doesn't get jammed up. Now, if you notice on the bottom, this one is closed off and there is not that much space between the holster and the pistol itself. Now me personally, I've gotten a lot of mud in here, a lot of sticks, twigs. I've never had anything jam up the mechanism. So that's not so much a concern. And I do prefer to have the bottom of my holster uh, closed. That way when I'm getting the dirt, getting the mud, there's not gonna be stuff coming up, obstructing my light, getting mud on it. That could be a problem or getting in the muzzle of my weapon. So I much prefer the close off bottom on my holsters. But of course, it's going to be a personal choice based on what you do and how you run and your gear and that type of thing. So make that choice based of, off of how you roll things. Now, I understand this holster is not going to be able to work for everybody because some people have to use some type of hooded holster. And we'll talk more about different types of hooded holster designs up here in the next couple of videos. But for now, I just want to point out that as far as I'm concerned, the Safari Land 6354DO is perhaps the best duty type holster that one can buy. It is a smooth, quick draw, a simple reholster, and it is reliable, robust, and it will not fail you. No matter what, you're not going to get good with this unless you get a lot of reps with it. I practice with this and perhaps do maybe at, at minimum, maybe 40 to 50 reps a night. So those reps help you get faster, smoother, bring the weapon on the target. So make sure that you're doing that type of thing. And depending on what you're doing, make sure that you're, transition, that you're doing your pistol draws realistically. If you're a military guy, you're probably not going to be going directly to your pistol or drawing your pistol from retention without anything else going on. You're probably going to have your weapon up and then have to transition to your pistol. So make sure you practice that type of stuff so that you don't fumble it in real life. For police officers, you're probably not going to be doing as much rifle to pistol transition depending on what you do. So because of that, practice drawing straight from the hip those types of things. So guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. As always, look cool. Hey guys, we have some really cool things coming up here in the future, so make sure you stay tuned. We'll be doing a pouches comparison in the next couple of videos, night vision, comms, that type of stuff. So it's all up and coming. Uh, you guys rock. Take care. I love you.